How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my C-Sharp programming series. Today we are going to be looking at passing arrays and a single array element to methods. Um, so before we get into the main program, let's take a look at our methods here. We have a modify array method which will modify the entire array. And notice how we are passing um, the array as a parameter. And inside the function, we're just basically going to multiply each element um, by two and that will process the entire array and then in our modify element we are taking a single parameter um, an integer parameter and we're going to multiply that by two and then output that the, the value of the element inside of the function so let's go ahead and run this and step through it here okay the first things first we have an array declared of integers we initialize that to one two three four and five then we'll output passing as reference to entire array and then output the current values in the array itself which will give us our first line or second line of output sorry one two three four and five then we call the modify array function which again will modify each element by multiplying it by two and then output the new values of the array and as you can see here we have two four six eight ten um, now we're going to pass an <clears throat> element by value here we'll, we will output that we're passing element by value array 3 before we pass it is equal to 8 location 3 0 1 2 3 remember that's the actual um, fourth position but we start counting at 0 then we call our modify element and we pass the, the location of array 3 as a parameter and we're down here inside the function that's going to give us the value of 16 and then we're going to output the value again after we call modify element and notice how we're left with the value 8 um, that again is because the element was not passed by a reference it is passed by value so this function will get its own copy of the value to modify do whatever it needs to do with inside of the function but when it returns to the calling environment um, that modified value will no longer be saved will be left with the original value as you can see here um, that's um, basically the gist of passing arrays as parameters uh, we'll go a little more in depth in my um, next video but I want to thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and I hope to see you for my next video